years and years ago, it was a real common practice to fill cavities in trees with cement. That is no longer an accepted practice, but I still see it done. This is obviously a homeowner job. The theory is that if you put something solid inside there, that it'll allow the, the, the new growth to grow up over and seal it up and, and encapsulate the wound and the tree will be just fine. But, but the truth is that when you seal it up with concrete, it doesn't stop any decay. It doesn't stop any moisture problems. It doesn't stop any insects. Because as the tree grows, I mean, you can look down here, you can see the bottom edge here, it's cracking and all kinds of insects can get up underneath there. And I could peel off some of the bark there and hello, a little squirrel here coming down to say hello to us. Let me feed this little guy. Anyway, <laughs> you can see the top is cracking. It's pushing out as it grows and expands. It pushes it all apart. So it does absolutely nothing but it actually is detrimental to the tree. Um, because it stays moist all the time inside there, it doesn't have a chance to dry out, you've got a, a serious problem going on. This little squirrel right here is about ready to jump on my head. I've not seen many squirrels come down. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> right in the middle of one of my videos and this guy comes over to see what's going on. Um, Lost my train of thought because this little squirrel is being a little too uh, too friendly. I wonder if this was a squirrel that was released and was raised as a pet and is used to people because I'm not <laughs> I'm not seeing any fear whatsoever in this little guy. Hey, buddy, how are you? All right, sorry, I was interrupted by a squirrel. You can see here that as this grows, it pushes everything inside there out. And the hollow that's up underneath there just becomes a catch-all. And you get a lot of moisture, you get a lot of bugs, you get a lot of things going on in there. And at the end of the day when the tree dies, some poor soul comes along with a chainsaw and just like happened to us yesterday, you run into something that's completely hidden that chainsaws don't cut into. But uh, you just, this is not a good idea. I have heard of people using uh, polyurethane foam, but even that is not a good idea because it's better just to allow it to completely dry out. Um, filling it in just keeps it moist all the time and it actually uh, speeds up the decay, makes it worse. Mm -hmm.